self-loading. So a horse that will be sent on versus a horse that will be led on. In actual fact, I would like for you to be able to do both. I want to be able to do both of my horses. I want to be able to either send them on or lead them on. It is sometimes a little more practical to, um, you know, in a, in a truck situation or a certain thing like that, to actually be able to lead them on, turn them around, position them in a certain way. Uh, the sending them on, for the most part, is going to be a more practical and a safer way to begin whether you're just loading one horse or whether you've got two horses that you need to load being able to send them on is going to be a lot easier as you saw i could load them up there and put the bar up behind them oftentimes when people lead them on they lead them on and the horse leads well and and goes on and then as you remove yourself from that position to move back they also go back so now you can't shut them in there so then it requires two people to shut a horse in so one of the things that I kind of live by is it should take one person to load two horses it shouldn't take two people to load one horse so we're going to show you sort of the ins and outs of that also you might find it's actually a little bit harder to send a horse on than it is to lead a horse on and there's a, a reason for that and I'll tell you in a very unscientific way very simply, when you're sending a horse on, they already know they're going on on their own. Okay, so psychologically, it's very different. If you lead them on, they're going on with you. And then, of course, we leave them, don't we? We leave them in there. But when they're sent on, they're on their own, so they already are more prepared for what the reality is. So overall, I find that a better way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to cause your horse to self-load.